Um, okay, I want to talk about something before we move into the bigger picture of beyond the business. Um, I want to talk a little bit, uh, what I'm, I'm calling transformational uh, thinking. You know, there's a way we can experience life. Like, I think for the most part, everybody likes something free. But the truth of the matter is there is nothing free, right? There's only free to you. In other words, if, if someone provides you something free, if we give you a coffee mug and some kid, you take that little, you fill out your Connect card, you go to that Welcome Center, and we give you a free mug with the candies in it, it's free to you, but it costs the church something, right? When Jesus... Gave what gives you salvation. It's free to you, but it cost him his life. So remember, we're, we're called to be conformed to the image of Jesus. And um, so I would love for you to talk about that kind of maybe it's the, the revelation in your life of moving from being a receiver, of receiving the things that were free to you, and, and uh, desiring to move from being a receiver to a giver, from being blessed to being a blessing. How, how does that motivation do you feel um, well, anything you want to address in that, but how do you feel that it impacts growth and the possibility of being able to lay hold of certain things like what you guys do? Um, so for me, it, it comes back to we, we're we stewards of what we've been given. Nothing that you have in life is truly yours. If you think about it, we're going we're gonna to pass from this life and you're not going to take anything with you. So while we're here, we're only what God has in endowed to you? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Um, you, you're a steward of that. And so when you look at being a steward, you want to take care of it. You want to steward it correctly. And the wealth that he's given, the money that he's given for, for us to earn and grow, we can, we can put that into other ministries. We can put that into areas where it will go out and reach people. Um, we talked about the previous sermon. What what type of ministries do you like to give to? And for me, God laid it on my heart to give to ministries that would go out and actually evangelize and bring people to Christ. Uh, so the money that he's given to us to steward, when I look at that, I say, how would I, this is God's money, what do I need to do with it? Yeah, I think the switch for me came, you know, I used to have this mentality, and I think a lot of times we do in the church is that God is using the world to change me. And I guess to some degree he does do that, but I think that's not his primary purpose. I think his primary purpose is he wants to use us to change the world. You know, we're here to release the kingdom of God, and I think we need to make this shift in our heads and remember and remind ourselves daily, right now I am seated with Christ in heavenly places. I went to heaven the day I came up out of that water, the day I gave my life to Christ. I went to heaven. Right now I'm in two places. I'm a doorway. I'm, a, I'm an access point of heaven into earth. Remember, that is God's design. It's why he taught us to pray that way. My kingdom come, your kingdom come, your will be done. We are meant, we are uniquely positioned as the people of God to stand in two places at one time and release the superior one into the inferior, if I can put it that way. We have the ability to release God's kingdom and will in the earth and that is what we are called and created to do. And so I think we want to do that every chance we get. I would just add, I would just add a quote um, from Jeff Van Duzer. The Christian in business is in the business of rendering service to enable humanity to flourish. There's a, there's a blessing that we, we have as being, because we're connected. We're the, we're the children of God. We're connected we're in the heavenly places uh, with Christ, seated with Christ, and we can be blessed, and then we bless the world, and, and we can, and we can uh, lift up our communities, we can cause them to flourish through our work, through business. So, um, <clears throat> finish that thought with this. God told Abraham that he was going to bless him to be a blessing to the nations. Now, <clears throat> Abraham didn't go to all the nations, but God was going to give him a child. And through that child, Christ would come. I want you to think about this because we haven't, we're even talking about money in this stewardship. What about stewarding your families? Like some people, you raise your kids just to exist. What if you were raising them like they are being raised to, to be a blessing to the nations? And, and so, I, you know, we're, we have a family thing we're going to talk about. But this, this idea of being blessed to be a blessing 
is consistent in the scripture and it touches all the tears and spheres.